Well, I blacked out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you guys saw from the thumbnail, I blacked out and bought a kayak. This is how the kayak looks. This is a Old Town Sportsman 106 PDL. PDL stands for that paddle drive, as you guys see out front. I ended up buying this kayak from Black Hall Outfitters. There's a place in Dallas called Mariner Sales. You're probably gonna find this kayak there along with other brands. Accessories is an awesome place. I wish I would've known before. I probably would've saved approximately $500. So this kayak is kind of pricey, but I think it's gonna be worth it. It ran me $2,200. I know, it hurts. Could've done a lot of things with $2,200. But hopefully this $2,200 is gonna get me to some awesome fish. This is some of the specs that we have with this kayak. This is the 106. The 120 is uh, similar, just a little bit longer, but here's some things that you need to know. The length is 10 feet, six inches, 36 inches wide, 107 pounds, jeez. But that's with that paddle drive on. Also the paddle drive, the weight on it is gonna be 18 pounds and total capacity weight that you can be hauling with this bad boy is gonna be 450 pounds. What's cool about this is that paddle drive has a five year warranty guys. So at one point if this bad boys go out, I have a five year warranty and Old Town will come through. Also when you buy from uh, Black Hawk Outfitter, they'll send you this little sweet shirt, uh, some awesome stickers. Old Town will send you a tackle box with the accessories that you're gonna have to attach. I already put some on, but that's how that kind of looks. We have your rotor here. Uh, it's pretty cool. I'll show you how this works in a minute. There's some attachments that eventually I'm gonna do some upgrades to this. Also, you have a shallow water anchor mount. You can, there's awesome mounts that you can put here. Awesome anchors where we'll just drop here and you can just hang out in the water if that's what you wanna do. Also, it comes with three rod holders. This one and that one are facing to the rear and that one faces forward. A lot of people just do tackle boxes here and put a bunch of rod holders. I'll probably do something like that eventually. Behind the seat, what you will find is another compartment where you can store battery packs, um, gear, probably more tackle. Also has a rubber seal here, keep water out and you can lock it up. This is the lever that controls your rotor back there. Look at that. Boop. Yes, sir. Boop. Yes, sir. Also comes with a cup holder. You can put your beverage there, your grips. Uh, the seat, pretty comfortable. You can adjust everything here with the seat, how lean back forward you want to be. The rail system is meant for you to be able to move your seat forward uh, or to the rear, depending on how tall you are. I'll probably get closer because I'm like five and change, you know. <laughs> basketball player status. Anyways, the seat also comes with some uh, compartment area down here where you can put your tackle. The tackle box that Old Town sends you comes with these two uh, sculper plugs. Pretty cool. Water can get in, but water can come out of these. I'll probably buy some more of these soon for the rear and the front. This is what you're gonna be able to lock your paddle drive with. As you see, this is the paddle drive, like I mentioned before, five year warranty on it. Also comes with a pretty cool compartment to put your license, wallet, cell phone, and also has a water seal on it and a bungee where you can put uh, other stuff in that. Paddles, they seem to be somewhat flimsy. Eventually, a lot of people will replace these. Obviously, this is where you lock it. This is kind of like how you put it and it goes in there. I'll show you guys once we get into the water to just lift. Also, if you look in there, you can probably see if you are gonna put a fish finder, you can run your wiring, your transducer wiring through there and pull your wiring through this compartment here uh, and run your wire through the kayak. Or you can store a lot of the stuff here, gear bag, battery packs, rods, whatever you need, you can put it here. Also has a rubber seal to keep water out and it's easy to get to, look. One handed mom, there we go. Also, this has your uh, plug, you need to drain it. There we go. And for this kayak, there is tons and tons and tons of things you could do. I'm not sure if I showed you guys this already, but you have your 
uh, two compartments here, two little pockets. You could put your warms, any tackle on the reels. You could put them through here. Awesome foam area for your feet. It has some rails so you can mount your fish finders, some rod holders, your GoPros. Within that tackle, this came um, separate. You have to put this bad boy here. This is your paddle holder. This is how you steer. Yeah, just by moving this. And also this is the tension. I'll probably be upgrading this system pretty soon, uh, sooner than later. I've seen a lot of not so good reviews on it. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the bottom of the kayak. Oh, baby Jesus. Oh, this bad boy is heavy. But anyways, this is how the bottom looks. The transducer area is gonna be here. It has a plate that you will gonna have to remove and use whatever fish finder attachment you have. Um, also, this is where you'll be running your wiring through, be able to run it through your kayak. You see all the detail to make this way more stable. Um, eventually, we'll be doing a stability test on it. It also comes with a skid plate here in the rear. So whenever you're dragging this bad boy, you won't jack up your kayak. I'll be honest with you, you will need a cart to haul this bad boy, especially when you have your car, fish finder, backpack, coolers. This is no joke. You just can't pick this bad boy up and throw it on your shoulder. You'll be hurting. So like I said, this is how the bottom looks. All right, guys, tell me what you guys think about that kayak. I have a lot of upgrades coming for this kayak to make life easier. And to be honest with you, just fun to get into the water. Stay tuned for those videos. If you haven't done so, subscribe. Do me a solid. Share with the homies. Hit a like. Peace.